Become a channel member to gain early access to all 5M scripting videos. Hey guys, it's Alpha, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to add add-on vehicles and replacement vehicles into your 5M server. So firstly, what you might be wondering is, what's the difference between an add-on and a replacement vehicle? So an add-on vehicle is a completely new vehicle that will have its own custom handling and controls and like all, all the statistics of the vehicle basically. Whereas a replacement will replace an existing vehicle. Uh, so it will look different, but it will take all of the handling and the controls and the statistics of that vehicle instead of defining its own ones basically. So initially what we're going to need to do is install a piece of software called OpenIV or Open4. So I'll leave this link in the description and you can just press the download now button and then uh, download the setup. So once you've downloaded it, you'll be prompted with the installation software. You can just accept the terms agreement. Uh, you can create this top icon if you want. I'm not going to. There you go. And then just run that. Brilliant. So it's completed. We just press close and then we can search for OpenIV in our Windows search and it should open the application. So on here we've got GTA 5 and then obviously we want to press Windows because that's what we're on and it'll just ask us to get the install location of GTA 5. So if you're running it on Steam, you can just go on Steam and uh, find it, right click it, go to local files and then browse and this will browse the local files and then you can just copy the directory at the top of the screen. Then you can go back to OpenIV and paste that directory once you press browse and then paste it into here uh, and then once you're in here you just press select folder and obviously now it's working, I can press continue. It's going to say backup original files, but we're not actually editing any of the original GTA installation. So no worries to, to not do that. Okay. And then once we're in like this, we can just minimize this for now. And then we're also going to download a vehicle. I've chosen this one, the 2014 McLaren P1 off of this website called GTA 5 Mods. It's a very popular website for many different mods and add-ons, vehicles, clothes, all of that map add-ons so if you want to go here and browse vehicles be free feel free to do so just so you know though these are all community made contributions so some may not work some may be buggy and your mileage may vary with doing which ones you may choose i'll leave the link to this one in the description just because i know this one works so if you want to try it with this one first uh, and then obviously you can get get used to making them before you move on to other ones so we're just going to download press the download button and here we uh, have a compressed file that's downloading so once that downloads, we're just going to go into our resources directory. I'm just going to create a new folder in here and I'm going to call it McLaren P1 add-on. And then we're going to go in here and I'm going to create a FX manifest.lua. Like so. And then also we're going to make two more folders in here. One called data and one called stream. Like so. And then when we go inside of the fx manifest.lua, we're going to do fx version, just like every resource that we make. And then we're going to do Cerulean. And we're going to do game, GTA 5 as usual. Obviously, you can do description, you can do author, you can do version, everything like that. I'm just going to do McLaren E1 add on. Like so. We're just going to leave that for now. And we're just going to go to our downloads and get the raw file that we just downloaded. So I've just moved that downloaded file from GTA 5 mods and the current P1 folder uh, file into our resources directory. And what I'm going to do is just open it up. I'm going to extract it to another folder and then we can delete that. And then once we go inside of here, we've got the add on and replace version of the vehicle. We've also got a template. That's just in case you're creating liveries of the vehicle. We can just ignore that for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into open IV and we're going to press file, open folder, and then we're going to go to our 5M directory, go to the resources and open this file or this folder, sorry. And obviously in here, we've got the add-on and the replace version. So we're gonna do the add-on version first. Uh, so if we go into here, add-on and then update, and then X64, DLC packs, and then P1. And then this is a rare package file, so it's just a compressed file. Uh, and then inside of here, we've got all of the data for the vehicle. So inside of data, we will have .meta files. So this is all of the, like, um, the statistics of the car, basically. So we've got colors, variations, text, handling, and, and, and vehicles.meta. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our McLaren P1 add-on. And then we're going to put all of these meta files into the data folder. All meta files always go into data folders with, when it comes to vehicles, whether it's add-on or replacement, they'll always go into data. So that should have been copied into there. Yep, perfect. And then we're going to go back on OpenIV to X64. 
and then inside of here we've got vehicles the rpf and then so if we go inside of here we'll have yfts and ytd files so this is uh fragment objects and texture dictionaries so all of these are basically the model of the vehicle um, so we're going to put those into stream because they're assets that we're streaming into the into the game basically uh, inside of vehicle mods we've got another rpf file but this vehicle doesn't have any modifications so that's basically like los santos customs modifications um, but this vehicle doesn't have any some do but, but not this one uh, when you see the data file folder inside of here you can ignore that this is just language like um, translations basically but we don't really need to to mess with those but now that we've added those into there what we can do now is we'll have this open and then we'll also open our fx manifest.lua then we need to add these meta files into our fx manifest so firstly what we're going to do is do files and then open it as a list and then we're going to do data slash i'm just going to copy and paste that because we're going to need it a couple times uh we're going to need it four times for this like so and we'll just add some commas like so so the first one we'll do is carcoals.meta and then we've got car variations.meta handling.meta and vehicles.meta brilliant and then what we're also going to need to do for since this is an add-on we're also going to need to go down and do data underscore file and we're going to need to do in the first one we'll do handling underscore file and then across from there we'll do data slash handling dot meta like so and we'll just close that and we're going to need to do this three more times so i'm going to do vehicle meta data file this one will be data slash vehicles dot meta the next one will be car calls file so do data slash car calls dot meta and the final one will be vehicle variation file this will be car variations dot meta I need to do data slash sorry data slash our variations dot meta like so and then we can save that and close it uh, so obviously here we've got the stream and the data uh, so this should completely work as an add-on but then what we're going to quickly do is we're going to copy and paste this folder and change it to the replace version and we're just going to delete the stuff out of the data and stream folder and also in the fx manifest we don't need these data files just here we just need these files to stay for the replacement version so let's call that one replace like so so that's all we need for a replacement version so what we'll do is we'll go back out here back to the replacement version and then we'll head into there and here we've got our meta files so we'll just put those into the data so as we can see there's there's less meta files for this one so we can actually take one of them out of the fx manifest and then we've got our yfts and our ytd here which will go into the stream so if we open up this fx manifest and we check our data we've got car, car calls car variation vehicles so handling we can actually get rid of we don't need that one so it will just like look like that for the replacement basically now that we've added both of those in we can delete that folder because we don't need that anywhere and we can close open iv uh, and then what we can do is we can go back to our resources.cfg and add them into here so i'll do ensure mclaren p1 add-on and we'll do ensure mclaren p1 replace there you go and then before we start up the server obviously you may be wondering ah when i'm adding them in obviously the the replacement what's this what's what vehicle is this replacing and when i do this add-on how do i spawn it in 
So if we go to the replacement and we go to stream, as you can see, this one's called T20. So this McLaren P1 is re replacing the T20. And as for the add-on, if we go into stream, it's called P1. So that's the spawn code for the add-on version, basically. Uh, so now if I run the server, we'll be able to spawn them in and try them out. As you can see here, the McLaren P1 add-ons, uh, because they're streamed assets, so this goes for vehicles, custom clothing, custom map add-ons, all of that. Uh, the more you stream in, the more physical and virtual memory of your server it's going to use up. Um, so if you're streaming a lot of assets, it's going to cause things like texture loss. This is the main cause for texture loss when you've streamed a lot of assets. Um, so if you're downloading assets, make sure they're both optimized and not too large. Okay, so now that we're in the server, we can do slash car to spawn in a vehicle. Obviously, we made that command in a previous episode. Uh, so we can start off with the replacement, which replaces the T20. So if you spawn this in, as we can see, it's no longer a T20. And it's actually the McLaren P1. We can see there on the back it says McLaren, uh, just to prove this isn't the T20. Uh, so if I delete that one and do slash car P1, which would, should be the spawn code of the add-on version. As you can see here, it's now a completely custom vehicle. Um, so this one will have its own handling file, so it will have different stats, different top speed, acceleration and all that from the T20. Whereas the T20, this one, uh, it's literally, it looks different, but it looks, ex it works exactly the same as the T20. It will sound the same, it will have the same acceleration, same braking, all the same statistics as the T20. Obviously you can do this for many vehicles, you don't have to do it for cars, you can do it for boats, planes, anything really. Um, but we're just using this one as a template because I know this vehicle works. That's everything for today's video. As always, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, share with your friends. If you need support, join the Discord server in the description. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.